We get them heavy metal horns up for George Sturgiopoulos. It's the last time I'm going to say that last name, George. I love you, man. I love you. But I was nervous about doing that. We are back with the band Fate's Warning. Ray Alder and, and, the, and the fellas in the band. I met Ray Alder when I was a young man. Uh, I think they went on tour with Sanctuary, and it was during the No Exit record. So this, this song that we're doing, Static Axe, is from the uh, album that's right after that that I can't remember the name of. Uh, Perfect Symmetry came out right after No Exit in 1989. We're going to learn about Fate's Warning, and then we're going to listen to that song. I was familiar with the first album with the other singer, and then um, the stuff with Ray Alter. Uh, we're going to get into this, learn about him, uh, for our pal George. Uh, Fate's Warning, they got 26,900 monthly listeners, which seems shockingly low to me. Uh, uh, top five Jammeronis here, they got Eye to Eye, 641,000 plays. You got one. It's got 1.6 million plays. Point of View, 372,000 plays. Through Different Eyes, I think that comes from the record that uh, Static Axe comes from, 347,000 plays. And Guardian, and I know that comes from the that first record, Awaken the Guardian, 410,000 plays on that. That's their top five. These guys have been around a long time. We're going to look into the albums that they've released, and then we're going to uh, move on. Night on Brock Brocken. I didn't know about that one. Spectral Within, didn't know about that. Awaken the Guardian is where I came in, 1986. You got No Exit, 1988. That's with Ray Alder. And then he continues on, yes? Perfect Symmetry, that's where this uh, song comes from, 1989. Parallels, Inside Out, Chasing Time, Pleasant Shade of Gray, Still Life, Disconnected comes out in 2000. FWX, 2004, Inside Out, Expanded Edition, Darkness in Different Light, that's a sweet title for an album. Theories of Flight, Awaken the Guardian Live, did they redo that? Live over, over Europe and Long Day, Good Night came out in 2020 for this band. Let's look into related artists, this will take you down a rabbit hole. I think Sanctuary was with them on tour when I saw them, so maybe they'll be listed down here. Uh, if you like Fate's Warning, then maybe this is some other bands for you to check out. Arch uh, slash Mythos. Shadow Gallery, Redemption, Psychotic Waltz, Ray Alder, his solo stuff, uh, Vendenplas, The Mighty Crimson Glory, Threshold, we've done them, and look at there, Sanctuary, Armored Saint, Vicious Rumors, Circus Maximus. So there's some bands you might want to check out if you're like, Fate's Warning, man, they're pretty damn good. Um, let's look into the bio ever so quickly, then we'll get into the song. You got the guys, and it's a, it's a, it's they're on top of a roof for one, and it is a lovely damn evening out. And they've got up there on the. He says, Ray, why you got us up here? He says, Well, I'm knelt down here, because I'm going to tell you to look up to the sky where I've set up a fireworks display that's just going to give you guys a raging heart on. And they say, Thank you for that, Ray. My heavens. Fate's Warning have been a formidable presence in progressive metal for more than 35 years, helping to shape and drive the genre without ever compromising their integrity or losing relevance. The return in 2020 with Long Day, Good Night, the most epic and longest album of their storied career. And that well, there's a period on that. So, Following touring with Queensryche guitarist J Jim Mythos, began writing the album in mid-2019, working closely with Alder for about a year, honing the songs, completing 13 of their 13th full length. Okay, we're done. We're going to go down here, find the record that we need first, and then we're going to find that song. Perfect Symmetry, let's do the, not the expanded edition. Static Axe is the song for George. We listen to it right here, right now. This is the titty boom boom, George. It's my earbud. I give you a taste, take a taste. We listen to Static Axe from Fate's Warning right now. Here we go. Already starting off in an epic fashion. And boy, Ray's just gonna rip it out, isn't he? Skill. This guy needs a splash symbol. This 
Static X, what could it be? Drums sound beautiful. These guys care for their instruments. Not a not a stitch of dust on this stuff. Polished everything. That almost has sanctuary-esque vibe to it. This sounds like sanctuary. Oh! It's great! Their, their prog chops are tight as a whip. Wheels grind. Yeah, I mean, this is just like the tail end of no exit. Maybe a couple of chops that they had that didn't make it on the rep side. Like that, how it opens up. Almost rushy in a bit way. These guys take you on a journey. Soft, gentle waters. It's like you could be laying in that boat Friday the 13th. It's just all of a sudden. Yeah. Love that. He's a singing maniac, this guy. Double up that chorus at the end. Like to see how they're going to end this. Yeah, just kind of a fade out. Quick fade on that. A world apart. Well, that's ominous and haunting. Yes, indeedy. What they did there is they just, uh, I mean, that guy's really got some singing chops, doesn't he? That Ray Alder. He was the nicest fella, too. He had himself a Diet Coke, and he just sat out there and talked to some young fellas that were just all starstruck. And then a great thing that happened was, you know, Sanctuary, that band, if you're not familiar with them, they have really, really long hair at the time. I mean, unbelievably ungodly. I mean, you were a wimp if it was just to your waist, your belt line. They had long hair. Well, Warrell Dane comes out on stage, swings his head around once, gets all of his hair caught up in the tuning pegs of one of the guitarists. Uh, just a fun side note. Uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos is where you get down there and you tell me and George... Uh, what you think of fate's warning, your thoughts, your memories, your opinions, have you seen them live, all that stuff. Good, great, fantastic, Shane, they're my number one fan band, I love them. Uh, I have everything that they, uh, they've they ever produced in any kind of button, sticker, hat, shirt, a musical fashion. Uh, all-time favorite songs, all-time favorite albums. Have you seen them live? How many times did you see them live? And did you happen to see them with Sanctuary about the same time that the No Exit record came out? That would have been about it. 
Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, they were prog rock and so damn good that I just, I got busy doing some, the dishes and I forgot to listen to the song. They got me so energized and ready to go. I don't want it, don't need it, never gonna listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below. Don't you know, if you got a request, you know what to do. Hit those links, put it in the comments. George, Sergio Palos. We're out of here. We're leaving. Fate warning.